with 7.18 to go. As you see here, Luka Doncic had some shoulder tightness heading into the half. He spoke to the trainer coming out of the half. They checked him out a little bit. If you see there, he's got a wrap on his shoulder to keep his shoulder warm. Something to monitor, certainly, guys, as we move forward here in the fourth quarter. All right, George, Dave Cash, Richard Jefferson, aren't any cause for concern there? No, there's not. At this point in time in the seasons, no one's 100%. Everyone's dealing with something. And so, look, I, I, I'm not going to believe that if I'm the Clippers and I see Luka's numbers, 36, 9, and 8, I think he's just fine and you're going to guard him just like that. The three-point lead for the Clippers. Open three, Morris. Got it. Marcus Morris, who has really struggled shooting the ball from deep in this series gets his first triple of the night and it's back to a six point lead. Clippers starting to shoot now like they did during the regular season where they were the top three point shooting team in the NBA. Porzingis has a roll off the rim. Clippers with possession, no second chance opportunity there for Dallas. Dallas shooting better from three than it is from inside the arc. Much better. And that's a big reason why they're down six. They're not getting a lot of easy buckets. Rondo, too easy. All the way to the rim. The Clippers have their largest lead of the night. And Dallas quickly calls for time. And Marcus Morris struggled in the first half, struggled in the first two games, but he is starting to find a rhythm. Great ball movement and corner three. The coffin corner. And then Rondo going right by Luca. Luca's got to give him space because Rondo will eat.